Guys, I don't know if everybody has this problem, but do you have a problem with SAG? Well, I do. And I'm here to tell you that this is a problem that I hope can be solved. And it can be solved by, well, Cooler Master decided they're gonna fix my SAG with the ELV8 addressable RGB SAG protector. I mean, video card thing. So guys, let's take this out of the box, take a look at what the overall feel, look, and quality is like, get it in the system, and see if it fixes that SAG problem us men may have. Or I guess women could have SAG too. Anyway, be right back. So this video has been brought to you by Easy DIY Fab. If you guys are looking for cooling solutions, and I mean cooling solutions, that also not just sound cool, but are absolutely cool, then I want you to check out the link I'm gonna put below for Easy DIY Fab. I'll put their Amazon store link there because that is the number one spot to get your best deal for cooling cool products from Easy DIY Fab. All right, so we're gonna take a look now. We're gonna open this up, see what we got. Can't be too much, I mean instructions. ELV8 thing, I don't know why it just keeps coming back. Just go away. Nice little foam thing. Okay, so first of all, I guess we'll take a look at this piece. Actually has some weight to it. Now you got that new Cooler Master logo where there's actually nothing in the logo, it just got the shape. I always got a kind of a dig on that. I thought it was kind of cool. Um, this part here is plastic to slide up to your video card. I feel like I'm gonna to wanna to put a piece of rubber here so maybe it won't mark the card. I, I don't know how shrouds are lately, but sometimes you know your fingernail does that little scuff and it's easily marked, but we'll see. Um, so this is your adjuster. You just loosen, raise and lower to meet to the card. What I liked about this one and why I chose this one, guys, is the three holes. A lot of them just do an L, so there's one, two hole. I think the third hole is that extra support that's needed. Now I will pick up a two hole one later just to try it out to compare it to what I would say is the premium to a point. This is only I think a $40 uh, bridge, but in, in a sense, Cooler Master is the premium brand. So this is the premium. Later on, I'll do a maybe a easy DIY fab, who knows? So anyway, let's see what else is in the box. So you have a ARGB cable, so a male to female which is kind of nice to have you're gonna need that for sure it's a cooler master cover i guess it's to hide stuff maybe where you link the two cables together just to keep it clean looking who knows it comes with three actually really nice thumb screws that is actually a bonus i thought it was just going to come with some screws that you threw on your screwdriver screwed it in say la vie you're done but no it's got some nice thumb screws now in my case uh i i use the uh, be quiet cases they have really nice thumb screws, so I'm probably not gonna use these. So just letting you know what's in there. They are there if you don't have them. If your case is one of those cases just has the normal screws, well, now you have some fancy thumb screws. And the other thing that you get in case you need it, you do get a addressable link. Now this is cool because I actually don't have any of these. All my links are four pin. So if I don't need to use this, I'll have one left over. That is absolutely awesome. Thank you, Cooler Master. Okay, so as you can see here, here's the video card. And if you actually look, you have a lot of sag on longer gaming cards. So I want to get that up here and leave it here. Why you want to do that is because it's putting a lot of pressure along here on your PCIe slot. So if you, you know, not necessarily it's going to break, but if I actually did reef on it right here, it's going to crack. Something bad's going to happen. So I'm going to... Uh, put this in so it's going to look something like this and it's going to jack up that video card and then nice length too so that's good for long cards it's actually pretty much the length of the card uh, so it doesn't look stupid overhanging like some might uh, now on top of that this is addressable ARGB which means you are going to need um, a addressable port on your board 
So I just want to make that clear. And apparently that's not being clear, so. So of course, anytime you're doing something like that, please shut your system down. You don't know what's gonna happen. It's always, always recommended. Now we're gonna need a Phillips screwdriver. And in my case, I don't need to use the thumb screws that were supplied, so I'm just going to use my Phillips screwdriver for this. Now, the nice thing is you do get to leave your uh, dust trays or, or dust covers or whatever you wish to call them in the system, so you don't have to remove that. Make sure your fans are free flowing because I noticed when I didn't have it in right, my fans did not move. Property are clicking. And I think I'm clear now. Because that'd be very, 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 very bad. Take your three pin wire and you want to hook it up to your ARGB in your computer. Now we're going to fire this bad boy back up. See what happens. That's looking pretty cool. I'm not going to lie. Start up the software that you use to adjust lighting or lighting effects on your motherboard. So in my case, it is Fusion 2.0 or RGB Fusion 2.0, which is a gigabyte thing. And if you're MSI, then you use your MSI and uh, ACES and, and so on. So it's not a question of whose software or what's going to happen. It's just a matter of doing it. To get your product set up and you get it set up in your software, you can make it do certain things that you want it to do. I'm going to go with the Cylon. I call it the Cylon. I wish it could go back and forth. I don't know if there is one for that. Let's see. Ha! Got it. The Cylon. So now I have the Cylon of SAG removers there you have it you now have the cylon <laughs> i'm going to call it the cylon mode and i'm very happy to have that mode actually um but now my video card is perfectly straight i have no sag whatsoever going on the cons to the whole thing of course it is a little hard with one hand unless you tip your computer down to hold your uh video card plates in place with just one hand and then trying to put the other piece on that does make it a little difficult other than that though it does work the construction and fit finish is what you'd expect from cooler master it's all metal so there's no plastic garbage going on there trying to hold your video card up and it's addressable so you can make it do whatever you want and customize your system the way you like it so guys i'm giving this one a thumbs up for the price point, it does work very well. I will try a lower brand as far as brand goes and see if they do make a better product and what the material is. But till next time, guys, it's definitely game over. Thank you for watching.